to as we go into this game right here. Um, and picking is going very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, like people know and, what they want. Yeah, here we go. And I, if I they was go really that fast. That makes yeah. me more feel like I don't know if they're like making adjustments based on the lineup or they're going, aha, we knew they'd bring that, so we're bringing this. But I mean, I'm not really surprised. No, no hard feeling feelings. Double bat. Mm -hmm. Double bat, double two seven seven super conk, and an E one hundred, and that's uh. We've seen the double medium play, uh, remember, where they, they got a two-on-one -on, on the outside to kind of take control right. of and the other sides of the map. Yeah, and then they just came in, and it was just GG's. Yeah, Angry Apes got to pull something out here. They're down two to nothing. So go to map number two. It will be Ghost Town. Kabali in a 50B, No Mercy in a 277. We have Game and Kill Bad in double VZs, 0 2 in the Super Conk, and Perma Delusional in the Bat Shack. Uh, yeah, it's. This map is too big. I think we talked last time. It's too big to kind of on defense or well attack that manner. So you, you can't like turtle. You can't like anchor. Okay, put this guy here, put that guy there, put that guy there, and now we just wait. No, you don't really have time to... The map's too big. There's too many routes to flex and flank when it's only six tanks to really kind of safely do that, or at least we have not seen this team successfully do that or come closer. I, I don't really see this is interesting. a way to do it. They're taking... That's a lot of outside tanks. They're flipping it. So remember uh, Chase did this. Uh, uh, NF... Uh... FHS did this. Um, they like took south control, and then it ended up becoming a north south brawl. I don't know if mm -hmm. you remember that or not. It didn't go in their favor though. Uh, Toma Tito's uh, did really got some, well. Uh, got some good shots when the, I think the batch I was picked at G one. Correct. Uh, with the shots coming in. Yeah, Volvo got picked by Sheep, and uh, I think like uh, a sixty TP shot him across the map or something like that. It was insane. So Nova not taking the shots there. Uh, mm -hmm. for very specific reasons where he felt like that the, the risk reward options of doing that was he didn't necessarily maybe want them to know that he was there and he also wanted to make sure he had his clip. Irma like, gets, Irma gets one shot shot off on Attila and then he forces and runs. So I don't know if they thought that that was all the info they needed. It looks like No Mercy is also trying to get a shot on Attila while he was still lit. Didn't get a shot off. Um, This is really slow by No Hard Feelings for an attack. I feel like this yeah. has been the slowest attack we've seen. Yeah, we saw some teams. I mean, it was at NHS that just immediately dumped two 113s or 277s straight on the mid cap and just had their tanks there ready to flex. And then other games, they just kind of played the mid. Mm -hmm. uh, but Angry Apes going very aggressive in the middle, just kind of not finding the enemy. I mean, they found John. They found, yeah, and they, they, they know there's tanks there, but they have a feeling there's tanks on the outside. But the reality is they don't know where the 27... Well, they knew where one 277 is, I guess, but they don't know where the other 277 is in the bat chat. And so they can't really account. And you can see with the batch have flexing all the way back to the north with Parma. But they're like, they don't know if there's tanks all wrapping the entire side of the map right now. And that's, that's what makes me so uncomfortable as like a former caller looking at this. It's, right. oh, there's some big blind spots if you're not like condensed and ready. Like tank tanks can be hiding around a lot of different corners just waiting. Got Supernova over here playing it like a pub match. <laughs> this is some really good. Uh, on assault on this map, these are really good spots to farm. Some... Oh yeah, I, I I love it too. And uh, as always, when you're when you're driving past them, you have to remember uh, which bush lines oh, yeah, actually they, have like rubble in front of them and which mm -hmm. ones don't. Because <laughs> like... you go to one of them, you go, I've got shots. Oh shoot, no, I don't. Oh look at this. Oh, he got lit. Wait, Nova got lit. Oh, I think so because he was poking his butt out. Yeah, his butt was still poked. One zero two. Maybe he's okay. a bait, though, because it looks per like Perma is trying to come over to get shots, but they have two batch, not not just one batch at. Yeah, and right? Potato's been in that bush for basically the entire game. I think right from the beginning, more or less. Ooh. No, he likes Kabali, and that should be a trigger for Kabali that someone is there. And he may even blind at Potato if he's not careful. If Kabali was in a not 50B, he would... Oh, but he's going to Oh, my God, he's going for Perma. shots. But he missed? Yeah, he missed, but he didn't that get lit for it. Good. He did back off enough, and Perma just wasn't in the spot to spot him yet. Uh, this is this is uncomfortable. There's four minutes remaining because you said it's a slow attack, and you see the two seven seven. One of them is now at G one, but like, you know, starting to you know, once that four minute marker's running around, like right. you know, you have to see what the plan is going to be because you're going to start. I mean, this is going to be a brawl. I think Nova is just being very meticulous about it in a way. 
Like he's trying mm-hmm. to find the overmatch. And they went pretty light with double bat. Double bat to double two seven seven two. Double two seven seven isn't itself necessarily light, but it, it's light when you bring double bat with it. it, it you know, you're not. You, they have the one e one hundred, the one super con. And you can see here, gold was able to sneak through. Oh, it looks like know, no, the offside two seven seven is crossing over now. It looks like they're they've made their decision. Game just trying to get a shot on gold if he pokes, but he's not gonna give him. That so I think luxury, potato. I, think. I think potato and perma delusion are gonna end up in a one v one. Nova is gonna be looking to get shots into the heavies and help his heavies win this fight. Wait, who shot game there? Oh, it was Attila. Attila's mm-hmm. just shooting him in the back. Yeah, and Yaz keep. And they don't. They don't have an no answer for it. They don't no, have they a don't. single answer for Nova's it. Nova's taking. Nova's taking a lot of damage. He's getting clipped out, and then he fall. He's did he fall dead. off? He fell. <laughs> you had to fall Yeah, he fell off there. They're gonna look at a kill, it, no mercy it, here. Uh, and they're probably Yaz yeah, gonna lead the way on that other VZ. Potato, potato getting clipped get out. Perma Delusional is going to come in and dump his clip into Potato, probably looking to kill either Potato or Gold here. While John and Gold are looking to kill Zero. Potato running. Attila kind of trying to simp here, but Perma has four shots, which is kind of nerve wracking, but it looks like it's kind of over. Aww. I mean, they just have so many tanks left, even though they're all really down i mean all that dpm looks like he takes potato out and it's just ggs that was weird that whole game was a weird dance of i'm still like i feel like i need to go back and double check where everyone was sitting and during all these little flexes in the middle because it was like a lot of independent like there weren't like three tanks stacked on a corner there's mm-hmm. like one tank here one tank here one tank here and then they all like move one m- one over it it was very weird, and then No Hard Feelings had kind of that overmatch that you saw. Like, they, they just kept pivoting, and they found that that VZ, and then, likewise, the, the bat chat fight was happening on the other side, but that was very awkward. I don't I don't yeah. expect to see Ghost Town to play like that, but... Right. It was... I mean, it was really... It, I feel like that was just Nova calling. That was just Nova okay. calling, and just the way he, like, I guess, maybe he is not... Um, Maybe this isn't, you know, you who, who picked this map? I thought it was no hard feelings. Oh, well, I maybe thought. maybe that's just how he likes to play it. Yeah, look at the post game sets. Killed that though. Still getting out three k damage in his VZ, and uh... yeah, yeah. Ghost Town was picked by no hard feelings, so maybe they're trying to 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 get some games on it. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm not sure. Thank they you might for be showing us that. They might be. It's. And the batch is not really getting a lot going. I mean, Nova did fall and die, and we don't and, know exactly and what, what happened there. But so far, out. what we've seen so far is that I think he's, to be honest with you, I think he's utilizing these E100s really well because it seems like Perma, uh, or sorry, uh, Angry Apes um, is, they're not the best at brawling, especially at multiple angles. We saw that on, on Himmels, right? where they chose mm-hmm. to take two separate fights in a 6v6 format when they're on defense. Like, what they needed to do was consolidate on one of those flanks, kill as many people as possible, and then just, like, get out, you know, re, re uh, you know, or just just kill enough to where, you know, you because that's basically this. Well, all this is. You know, you get, like, a, a free pick or two, and then it's over. You know, it's all about positioning and stuff. They had the position early game in that. Uh, and maybe no hard feelings defense. just kind of playing like they they feel like they can they can get more strong like they can. They're trying to maybe give angry apes a little bit of rope to like like string themselves out on like right. make them overextend think, and then once they overextend they they find the little the little three v two. Because I bet, cause I bet you I bet advantage. you I bet you no hard feelings. Uh, I bet I they're I, I bet you they're gonna they might go heavy, heavier than they just did, on uh, defense. And or it might be the same picking, lineup. I mean, Angry Apes bringing double batch at right off the get-go. And look right here. Two Super Conks, an IS-7100. Like I said, they're going to go heavy. I mean, and if then you two can't batch anchor the outside with something to like, okay, they brought double bat at the end. Like, if they can't, like, at least match the outside with just equal numbers to prevent, you know, 
the enemy team getting the entire outside early and being able to kind of just have free farm on the mid. All they have to do is just kind of stop that, and then they can be probably about as heavy as they want to be. And I, I kind of like this from uh, No Hard Feelings. I like this type of lineup being brought against the lineup they're seeing. E100, the I7, especially the double super conk. Like, they can use the E100 kind of by himself if they want to... Like you said, they've been anchoring with it and pivoting off of it a little bit, and he's been just kind of pushing off a corner and just making sure that if they want to try to pick it, it's way too inefficient, and they can use him for some vision. And all they have to do is just stop the mobile tanks from being able to kind of get around on their butts, and they're fine, and they're, they don't look like they're going to get pushed over and double super conk. I mean, I don't think they... I don't feel like... On this map, like, if it was between two suit, if with this lineup from No Hard Feelings, mm -hmm. I think two super conks is better than double VZ, even though the VZs are very, very powerful right now. Like, this map, with kind of the distances some of the shots can be had and some of the hold down potential, super conk or DPM is just so powerful, and they don't have to cover too much ground. As long as they don't have to cover too much ground, they're fine. Right. And um, even, like, the last round that we saw, we saw Supernova channeling his inner muscles and falling off the cliff so that he could actually call better in that instance. I don't know if you knew that or not. That that was a secret there that he did that. Uh, yeah, see, my secret to crashing was I always just did it in scrims and never did it in a live match. So uh, everyone just thought I did, like, boosts and stuff 100% successfully. Right. I, I I really think that No Hard Feelings... I don't know. I don't know, Angry... I uh, To be honest with you, nobody on Angry Apes has talked to me. Um, you know how, like, I was telling you everybody else was PMing me about certain stuff? Well, I actually know a couple people... Well, Angry Apes, DM us. Give us, give us the scoop. Give us the lowdown on how things are going. We want to know. We want to know some of your thought processes Oh, on we know. We, we have a leaderboard, the so standings. We know how things are going. <laughs> 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 we know, they don't, they don't want to do Well, they didn't mean like that. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're, what are they going to DM me? Uh, our teamwork is, is boo-boo. Um... I don't know what we Kamali... keep losing. Yeah, <laughs> like it feels bad. I, there's usually a team or two every season. Oh, Potato making a bit of a mistake. He's going down to 473 HP. Not the first As time. We say we've... That oh my god. Angry this... Apes maybe doing Apes together strong time. You know now. Now's yeah, right. the time. Now's, now's the, the time. time. Let's see it. Now's the time to attack. <laughs> <laughs> You're like an NPC. Cue <laughs> <laughs> the oblivion music. Yeah, you're like you're like the the, the squad mate in like a, a, a Call of Duty or something like that, or like the voice of like a command and conquer, like you know. Help. Like you're, you're the... <laughs> I need assistance. Help! <laughs> and gold Attila coming up here, kind of bumper kill car, and constantly kill getting caught out. And what you really don't like seeing is the turret swivel with it like a pug that it doesn't know what's going on. That panic setting in and not even able to keeping his gun towards the enemy. You know what Kilbab was saying right there? Help! I need help. <laughs> and zero yeah. two stay. No hard feelings is just making this a four out. But look at yeah, yeah is in just a freaking good spot. Wow, that, that was so well timed. A lot of other teams would make that play with John Golden Attila, and yeah, would be somewhere off in Narnia, right? Correct. But he was with that push coming down the other road, and it was just perfect. But uh, HP only about fifteen hundred in favor of no hard feelings. Because of that early damage being done Ooh. in Permadelusional here, and this could swing it. Dude, Permadelusional is hands down the most questionable bad chat driver in this league. Like he runs on the, he runs into the red lines, he runs into dead bodies. Like what was that? He literally could have, if he if he knew how to drive, he could have got a full clean clip. And instead, and he, he, and he ran to into the body. To Nova instead of maybe staying on target and driving right, past. Correct. Because at that point. Even if his friend shoots the bat chat once, it's it's not enough. I mean, Potato played terrible this match, but then Inadequate was like, ha, "You think that's bad? Watch me, dude." <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> it's just this, like okay. It smelled a little bit of like, oh well, like once once you kind of have that defeatist type mentality, like if you're losing and things aren't going well. Mm -hmm. that that's what it felt like but uh angry apes didn't look maybe so, they like... don't have that uh you know, maybe like you know you were saying a lot more experienced players are less likely to get tilted maybe uh you know they don't have that luxury you know because i think like kabali and like inadequate they probably don't get I don't know, as tilted as the other guys? I don't really know the other guys. I remember playing clam wars with kabali a long time ago, or not okay. too long ago. Maybe like a year or two ago. 
Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't that it wasn't it wasn't like five years ago or ancient history or anything. I mean, it would, it, be, I don't know. I don't know. At at the end of this, like right here, the only thing that I can come up with uh, is the fact that like both teams' batch app players are terrible. That's the only thing. But That's they, what it comes but down to. They both keep bringing like two batch chats a game. Yeah, sometimes. yeah, yeah. But like, uh, like a batch chat is bleeding. They're f like, what? What do? What do we see? Batch chats driving in the open. That potato Bad thing was like leading. either a really bad call Bad or a really bad driving. idea by potato. If we would have spectated only bad chats that whole game, it probably would have been like inadequate running into walls or dead bodies, uh, supernova falling off cliffs, uh, potato just just driving in the open and bleeding. I mean, we've seen him do it in the past. Where did he? Uh, what map was that? He was uh, gold. Basically, lit the entire team on proc, and potato was like. It's okay. I'm a bat chat. I'm going to come and help you. And then got smacked twice for it. And then it was like, and then he was like, uh, actually, never mind. And he like turned around, you know, and, uh, and then they pushed <laughs> through the five line, uh, you know, with their five A's. And I think one of their five A's caught on oh, fire. Oh, yeah, that game. Mm -hmm. You remember that one? And that's the Nova blind and, and shot we, we, game. And we, we watched, I mean, Gold has definitely gotten a lot better with, uh, you know, he's, he, he, like, for example, um, he didn't in his super conquer. He didn't press the S key, uh, like he did on. I don't know if you remember this, but he was in the I seven and he was supposed to take the ball, but he just stopped and started backing up while he didn't. Not, while not knowingly knowing that there was like what a, two bad chats behind his butt in like an I seven or something like that. I think it was like a two seven seven. Then he gets shot in the butt and then he goes. You know, it was kind of like the you know. Uh, Fire, fire under the bum bum, kind of getting him to go, you know, <laughs> like, uh, you know, he didn't want to go. And then, you know, they were like, uh, let's light a fire up his bum bum. And then he was like, oh, oh, it's hot. Oh, oh, go to the ball. Go to the ball. Fantasy picks, though. Mm hmm. 330 for Attila, John 279, gold 232. I mean, the top pick was game and followed by zero two right behind him in Kabali on Angry Apes. Not the greatest one from Angry Apes, but at the end of the day. Even for our criticism, both teams, including no hard feelings. Well, if you want to, they I mean, come out with a four zero victory. They come out right. like you know, and, and they don't have to do their maybe you know, you know well, they're feeling like they didn't have to show their their best plays, their best strats or whatever today. Right. You know, but it can also be hey, that that thing with potato on the bat chat there it felt like it was maybe a call or is a potato going no oh, it was just this. him clean i was making and, fun and of him was a, he was just clearing the one line. I mean, that's it's not something his fault. that happens to you in a scrim. Yeah, and then you go okay never doing that again uh you know like i mean it's it a, felt like that was what that lesson was yeah there. the other guy had a bush he didn't that's literally what it comes that's literally yeah all it, it was like oh and they, plus it turns out they were plus, there yeah and plus the only person i've seen bringing optics on like a, a batch head has been external and that's because he's living in like 2017 you know what i mean like he doesn't know what what year it is um but i, I think he stopped doing that and so when it comes to teams sh showing a lot more potential I would say that No Hard Feelings has the potential of being one of those teams. Yeah, I think No Hard Feelings has the potential of where they just need to be in a position for the postseason. And then once the postseason comes, they can potentially kind of not not high roll, but, you know, they, they can they can pull some things out. Mm -hmm. And maybe like, you know, buckle down as long as they're just kind of progressing solidly throughout the season and making the adjustments they need to make and learning the things they need to learn. Right. They absolutely can be one of those kind of sleeper teams mm -hmm. that will surprise you come come the end of the season. And uh, that that's the thing. We talked about the double round Robin and stuff. And in the end, once the double round Robin is over, right, it's a playoff style format. Correct. So. Then it's just do or die time. It doesn't matter if you finished third or you finished sixth. Like you're in it now. Like it's it's you know win or or go home. And I think that they could be a team that come that type of pressure and by that type of uh, yep. adrenaline. They could they could perform really exactly. well. Exactly. Uh, I guess Smiley, we should take a few minute break here. Maybe about uh, correct. Get my clock about about five ish minutes or so. Uh, and we'll be yeah, back about and... uh, forever. Correct. No, <laughs> we will be very back. Very fast. Very <laughs> fast first game, but uh, we will be back here in just about five ish minutes. Uh, we'll turn on some music for you guys. And you know then, what's uh... actually hilarious? I don't think that was the fastest <laughs> four oh though, in this was in the not? league. I don't think it was. Oh, Only oh, because God. of the last game. Or the one of the uh, their attack was so slow. Mm -hmm. I think it may have been though. Mm, I don't think so though. 
But we could we could ask Viral if he ever gets the info on that. But yeah, I guess uh, let me update so that you guys can see what's coming up next before we go to some music, because it's going to be Jack is AFK versus FHS or sorry FHS versus Jack is AFK. Correct. 